So hi everybody. If you're wondering why I'm on the floor, it's because my entire house is being rearranged for primarily for the coming of the new baby. The last time this happened to me was like five years ago, bago dumating yung firstborn ko at nagkaroon ako ng extreme nesting urges. If you haven't heard of that term yet, it nesting is like parang yung mga sa ibon, ibon ba yun? Sa ibon bagaling yun. Pero Yung pag magkakaroon ka na ng bagong baby tapos meron kang extreme urge to fix everything like you you buy stuff for the baby or you fix your nursery and all that. So in my case, whenever this happens, it's extreme in the sense that hindi lang yung nursery inaayos ko, kundi yung buong buhay ko. Oh wow, buong buhay ko talaga. Anyway, my face is so blank and some people are gonna come today to help me fix the three floors of this house. <laughs> well, actually, we're not gonna do it in one day. I've scheduled today and on Monday, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Buntis brain na hindi ko na maalala lahat ng schedule ko. But I've scheduled two days with neat obsessions. Isa is gonna help me with that. That's her expertise and I heard that she just got back from being certified as a marriage. Marie Kondo, I don't know what you call it. Marie Kondo specialist? Marie Kondo girl? <laughs> but she just got back from New York and she actually got to meet Marie Kondo. If you haven't heard of Marie Kondo yet, well, I suggest that you get the book or at least watch her on Netflix. Netflix has like a series on the KonMari method. Mga two years ago, nabasa ko yung libro na yun and it really changed my life in the sense that I just learned how to organize my things more and I learned to really throw away stuff. Kasi medyo basurera ako eh, hoarder ako. So anyway, that's a, I think another story for another day but today let me just fix my face before i face these people who are gonna help me organize my life today so um tune in because i want you guys to see the transformation and what good it does for us kung naayos talaga natin yung mga gamit natin see you in a while hello good morning sorry hi angels hi Isa. good morning you're gonna help me yes. and my May say pag mumuka ako. <laughs> so usually your process is. So you know the process is I let my team sort out the items first. General sorting and then they subcategorize. And once everything is sorted out, that's where I come in. Because I do the actual putting. Oh, ikaw yon. Yes, yes, yes. So for all of your clients, you're like that? Yes. Okay. Um, but. Ano ba? Before when I was start, when I started, dalawa lang kami. So talaga. Wow. So before grabe yung process, kasi usually it takes us about 12, 16 hours a day. Kasi na dalawa lang kami nagaay. Yeah, iba talaga pag maraming hands. Yes. So, oh. Saya, kasi may mga angels. Na. Yes. going to show my husband for the first time kung ano nangyari sa aming walk-in closet. Okay, wait. He's calling na. Okay, say hi. What's that? It's, uh, I'm recording this because I have been doing this all day. So, somebody came here. Um, neat Obsessions, the one that uh, that's gonna help me organize. So, what we did first is the walk-in closet. So, you're gonna see it for the first time. Yeah, all of the hangers are the same. Is a hotel? Yeah, it's a hotel. It's from Landers. And then... Five hours of working on our walk-in closet. Neat Obsessions is actually done. They're gone. Like all the ladies who helped Isa, they've left. And I just wanted to do a quick review of some of the things that they did in the closet that really makes me super, super, super kaduper happy. As in, like over the top happy. Hindi ko akalain na yung organization pala. Simple organization can make you... I mean, like I've known that decluttering is 
is always good and that you know having an aesthetically pleasing space parang ang sarap na pumasok sa kwarto na yun tapos ang gaang ng feeling at saka ang klaro ng feeling this is what i said when they were asking me for my feedback i said that it was very very clear the feeling when you entered the room is like it's super clear in the sense that i just know and it's logical alam mo kung saan ka pupunta may labels lahat parang hindi ka maliligaw sa sarili mong kwarto alam ko late lang naman itong walk-in closet na to no hindi naman siya sobrang laki pero so, pagpasok mo, klarong-klaro kung saan mo ilalagay yung mga bagay-bagay. Na ikaw mismo, you have the ability to sustain the organization that they actually started for you. And I think that's what's missing about decluttering. Decluttering is just like taking some things away. And then of course, the room feels lighter. But it doesn't feel organized. Siguro yun yun, na when you declutter, the room feels lighter because you have less stuff. But it doesn't feel organized. And when it, something doesn't feel organized, no matter how few your things are, they're still gonna look and feel messy. So, yun siguro yung pinahan ng ramdaman ko na nawala talaga yung kalat ko. Kasi, may nag organize. Merong one step above the taking away of stuff that you don't use. I think the best part about what she did to our walk in closet would be for that area. Kasi, that's actually not the most ideal closet space that was ever made in the planet. No offense to the one who made that, but it's like so deep and I feel like every time I have to get a shirt, I have to reach in so deep and then when I get it out, whatever I wanna get, I get two or three or four more other things because it's so much of it and it's still so And in the end, I would have to leave the room super cluttered because it's like, well, okay, eh, wala na, nagmamadali na ako, pero nasama na lahat ng mga gamit mula sa likod. So, parang sobrang genius lang talaga yung ginawa niya. Naglagay siya ng mga containers na yung container yung ilalabas mo and she folded the, the stuff in a way na madali siyang hilahin at ibalik na hindi kumugulo yung mga ibang bagay. Siguro kung meron mang magulo, konti lang. So, that's my most, most favorite part sa lahat ng ginawa ni Isa for today. I also have this realization na honestly, last night before they came, I was thinking, oh my gosh, magtanggal na tayo lahat ng gamit na hindi ko gagamitin. Kasi yun yung unang step, mag-declutter muna tayo. Tanggalin na muna natin lahat ng mga hindi natin gagamitin sa buhay natin para hindi niya na kailangan ayusin. But for some reason, she was insistent on, it's okay, we will just organize. You don't have to take out some stuff. And true enough, this room was the one that I left hanging na kagabi, marami na akong natanggal sa mga oils ko, sa mga facial creams and whatever na hindi ko naman talaga ginagamit. Pero when I entered this room last night, I was like, I have no energy to go through that much clothes. And I was thinking, sige, bahala na buka. Siguro, Ashi goes about my stuff na lang. Doon na lang namin tatanggalin yung mga, mga ayaw ko. And, but she insisted na, no, it's okay. We'll organize first. And apparently, she has a method of, I'm not sure if I got it right. We'll talk to her again another time because there's one more room in the house that's gonna be fixed. But the first for her is organization, I think, right? And then second, yung decluttering. Only when you're ready. She keeps um, insisting on readiness. Na. Decluttering is great, but only if you are ready. And now, I see the value of organizing muna. When she organized this entire space, it has become clear to me, ano ba yung mga gusto kong itapon sa mga ito? Mas madali siyang makita. Mas may energy akong magtanggal. Then, yesterday na lahat sila halo-halo labo-labo. And I think the genius of that is that everything's put together, organized by category. And so the category is helping me see that, okay, I've got 10 bathing suits and only one body. So maybe I could just keep five and the other five I'll throw away. But I wouldn't see that if my bathing suits are like scattered all over the place. Because to be honest, no? Yung mga bathing suit ko nakahang. Hindi ko alam din kung bakit siya nakahang, pero nakahang siya. So parang naguguluhan na ako dun pa lang sa thought na ilang bathing suits ba yung meron ako? San ko ba sila bubunutin? Il ano ba yung ikikip ko? O sige, keep ko na lang lahat kasi hindi ko na maisip kung nasaan sila lahat. But now that she's organized it all in one place, I could clearly see that these are the swimsuits that I'm gonna keep, swimsuits that I don't wanna keep. And then these are the sports stuff that I wanna keep and these are the sports stuff that I I wanna throw away. And so, Asa, thank you so much. Ang papasalamat talaga ako sa neat obsessions kasi your neatness and your obsession with it 
has paid off. It has really made me very, very happy and very, very feeling light and clear. I've learned so much from you also today, not only from your cleaning process, but also from you as a person, Isa. Um, you're a wonderful woman, and I can't wait for all of my, my followers and subscribers and everyone who's watching right now to see you in my next vlog about Neat, neat Obsessions. Because there's isa pa kaming room na gagawin. And I want you guys to hear from her straight. Until next time, I hope you guys learned and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I enjoyed the transition transformation of my own walk-in closet and I pray that you you guys get to pick up something from it so thanks guys for joining us today and if you like this vlog don't forget hit the like button and if you haven't yet subscribe yourself